All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom, my young. We'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, Double Nine City Elders, and the Apostles of Great Millstone, and Ruling Teach Well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and the diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Layah from the Great Millstone, Lake Talk to Louisiana Camp, coming back again with another lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And as always, you know, Lord, will it be edifying to the Lord's elect? All right, you know, and, uh, through the Spirit, man, you know, just want to get into this uh, brief topic. You know, uh, the vision that Daniel had, and ultimately, man, it lines up perfectly, you know, with a, a prophetic and biblical times, all right, which ultimately shows us what we should be looking for and being a part of, <laughs> you know, as Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, begin to come and crack those clouds, all right? So this is Daniel chapter 7 and verse 8, all right? And this is, uh, you know, without a shadow of doubt, this is that kingdom, you know, that last kingdom that will spring up before Yahweh Shai come in. You know, to to destroy the wicked, all right, and ultimately uh, redeem the elect, okay, from this wicked, present, evil world, all right. So this is Daniel chapter seven and verse eight, man, and this ultimately too, you know, uh, so like you for the rain, but this is ultimately too a uh, great comfort, all right, because this shows us that what the Lord will deliver us out of the land of the north, okay. So this this is Daniel seven and eight. It says, and I considered the horns, and behold, there came among them a little horn before whom. There were the three of the first plucked up, and the little horn is speaking about America, all right, that rose up from uh, what uh, the Roman Empire, okay? America is uh, Rome revamped, okay? It says, uh, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots, and behold, in this horn were eyes of the eyes of man and a mouth speaking great things, man, because what? They were uh, uh, arrogant, all right? They were uh prideful all right this is the vibration that this present world ultimately uh uh all right pushes the vibration that they push is what totally off pride all right they speak great things against the most high all right as it speaks about in second thessalonians the second chapter right they like to show that they uh themselves are god in the temples all right now they're uh, soon to uh, push greatly at a, a high velocity the motb all right which is the rfid chips Okay, to what have total uh, dominion and total control. All right, but what one thing's for certain, two things for sure. Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah is not gonna leave the the remnant, all right, of his nation into the hands of the wicked. Okay, that's the whole reason why what Yahweh Shah is gonna come. Okay, he says what he's gonna ultimately return like a thief in the night. Okay, but uh, you know biblical prophecy and, and us looking at you know things t today, it proves that this is exactly who. You know, uh, the Heavenly Father was speaking about, all right, was well, Esau, Edom, okay? This is Revelation chapter 13, okay, going into um, this devil speaking great things. This is uh, Revelation 13, and uh, let me see. This is like 12. Okay, let's start at, um, I start at verse 6. You know what? Start at verse 5. It says, and there was given unto him, you know what? I'm going to start here. Uh, okay, I started verse 4. It says, and they worshiped the dragon on which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast? And that's ultimately how everyone looks at this present system as well. You know, who who is like it? There's no other place like it. When you go into Revelation, the 17th chapter and the 18th chapter, all right, it, it ultimately goes into how everyone desires to come here because America is built off of uh, uh, somewhat delicacies, all right? It pushes off a way of life that isn't uh, uh, presented, all right, or shown to uh, any, other, uh, any other country, all right? That's why they call America, what, uh, the land of the free, all right? It says, what, the land of the free and home of the brave. Well, that brave ultimately goes back to their pride, okay? And the Lord is soon to take their pride down, okay? Take these devils out of the rulership because they have uh, exceedingly polluted and a uh, 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 perverse, you know, uh, uh, perverse the earth, okay? It says, uh, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, you see? And power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High to blaspheme his name, putting uh, different titles upon you know, the, the, uh, the Heavenly Father's name, okay? And it goes back to what, what the Lord stood for as well, 
all right, because everyone's name has a, a certain reputation, okay? It says, and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, you see? So we read down in Daniel 7, uh, down at like 18, you know, it basically said that what uh, this devil would, um, it says that he would wear out the saints, all right? But ultimately, when we go back to Revelation, the 12th chapter, it lets it be known that what this devil, Esau, Edom, he's going to come down with great wrath, all right? Because you know that he have a short time. He's going to seek out the saints, all right? He's going to seek out the men of Yahweh Shimei Yahshua, and being that he doesn't uh, have a pinpoint accurate, well, ultimately, he knows who has the truth, all right, by way of the doctrines that are pushed, but he doesn't know exactly who's the elect, so he's going to come down upon the whole nation, okay, just like in the ancient times, all right, but what, or the scriptures say what, but Israel, hey, the elect shall be redeemed, all right, it says, well, at least the Lord had uh, uh, set up it a remnant to be saved, there shall no flesh to be saved, you see, it says, and overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations, but that power is going to be taken from him, all right? As it speaks about in the book of Revelation, the sixth chapter, he was given that power to take peace from the earth. Well, Yahweh Shai is coming to bring back peace, okay, to the Israelites, all right? As it speaks about in the book of uh, Luke, the first chapter, you know, as we all know, right, it speaks about us being delivered from uh, all of, of the hand of those that hate us, okay? Verse 8, it says, and that all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. See? So this totally puts a, a difference between the elect and uh, the two-thirds, you know, of Israel too, you know, because we're not a hey, uh, Lord, hey, the, hopefully elect is, the hopefully elect is not going to be in the spirit of bowing down to take the MOTB. All right, as we continue to go further on in this chapter, it says that what this devil is going to push that vibration upon the whole earth, you know, rather small, big, no matter your stature in today's society, hey, everyone is going to be faced with that, right? But what did, what did the Lord tell us, you know, us of the hopefully, hopefully elect, the uh, beloved Akim? He said, well, because you have kept my word of patience, I will keep you from the hour of temptation, okay? Because ultimately, Yahweh Shai died so that we wouldn't, uh, uh, we wouldn't have that spirit, you know, of what, uh, being overthrown or overcame, you know, he gave us that spirit of what, enduring until the end, okay, now, real quick, back in Daniel's the seventh chapter, you know, it's a beautiful exhortation of the spirit too, to, because, hey, man, we understand that Yahweh Shai is right around the corner, you know, as, you know, the scriptures tell us in the book of second, the ninth chapter, to what, measured out the time diligently in itself to see when the highest self, uh, begin to visit, you know, this place, well, we see that, and according to Daniel 79, right, right after the time where it, uh, it speaks about this devil speaking great things against the Most High, having that pride, it says what? Verse 9, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. So Daniel was able to see all of these things until what? America was overthrown, okay? It says, and the Ancient of Days did sit, that's Yahweh, whose garment was white as snow. So he's going to come, hey, 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 Yahweh Shai is going to come. And, and have everything be established, all right, obliterate the heathen by way of his uh, 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 majestic power, all right, and by way of the chariots, all right, who you see these devils all ultimately making mention of now to where what they can't hide uh, uh, the so-called UFOs, which they are, they are identified to us, all right. They are the chariots and uh, the transportation, the transportational vehicles that's ultimately going to deliver the elect, okay, from the thermonuclear fire that the Lord has out for this place, okay? But verse 9, the, the next thing that he sees is what? I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garments was white as snow, like the hair on his head, pure wool. His throne was like a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. You see? It says, and a fiery stream issued and came out before him, thousands, thousand thousands ministering unto him, and 10,000 10, stood before him, the judgment was set, and the books were open. You see? And in the midst of all of this, we have to keep in mind that what? Real quick. Let me see. Going into 2nd, this is the 13th chapter, which is powerful how, what? Yahweh Shai is going to come, come down and get busy, you know, in the Middle East, all right, with the heathens. This is 2nd, this is chapter 13, and uh, let's start at, 
I started verse 5. It says, And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself upon a great mountain, that's Yahweh Shai, upon the other chariot, man. It says, and flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, man. You see? And this is the key point why the, these, these devils tried to what hide the Apocrypha. All right? Because what is written, the, the, the beginning, you know, the present, and the, and the future. The end is already written. All right? We just have to catch up uh, to real time. You know? The, rent is, the, the end is already written on what's going to happen, man. This is it right here. You know, we're going to see Yahweh Shai crack the clouds and, you know, uh, uh, subdue and put all the heathen under his subjection. As it speaks about in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, man. He's going to make every knee bow. All right? But all of those, those, those uh, armies, all right, that's ultimately going to be fighting against each other there. Hey, the Lord is going to put the spirit upon them to fight against him so that his power can be shown in the earth. You know, it says that they were so afraid and yet thirst fight. So the Lord is going to make them fight. You see, because they are on, on these news sites and, and social media sites talking about oh, what they're going to do and how they're going to stand boldly. No, it's already written that when you people see the Lord, you're not going to know what to do. All right. Verse nine, it says, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude came, he neither lift up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. But I only saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, man. And that's talking about the chariots. OK, it says and out of his lips a flaming breath. So fire is coming for you. Thermonuclear fire and fire from the chariots of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. It says, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming bread, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which were prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, man. So you, you peon ass heathens don't stand a chance, okay? You can put your trust in your so-called defense system. Hey, that's not going to protect you from the hand of Yahweh by Shimei al All right? It says, but only dust and smell of smoke. So that's ultimately going to be the end, you know? Smoke and smell of as the, hey, uh, it says, well, it's not going to be a blade of grass left here. How much more over there, man? All right? It says, when I saw this, I was afraid. You see? I'll jump to verse 13. It says, uh, you know what, I'll start at 12 too. I get 12. It says, After, afterwards saw I the same man come down from the mountain and call unto him another peaceable multitude. And that's the elect. It says, and, that, and there came much people unto him, whereof some were glad. That's the elect. And the, end, the, only, the, the, the only ones that's going to be uh, uh, glad is the elect, man. All right, because what they're going to see receive reward, a reward that's, that's uh, worthy, you know, Rather than a reward of, 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 of dishonor, it says, and some were sorry. That's the two thirds of our nation. You see, they're going to be sorry. It tells us that in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, how they're going to be, uh, it says, repenting and groaning in anguish, calling themselves fools. You see, and some of them were bound. So this, this, this cuts any Christian to believe that, oh, everyone is going to be uh, gathered up together in uh, some rapture. No. And some of them are going to be bounded up, as it speaks about in Revelation 13, uh, uh, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So you, the devils that, uh, that the Lord allows you to get away, hey, you're ultimately in the trick bag because we're uh, going to go and get you up out of those chambers, all right? Those bunkers, all right? It says, and other some bought of them that were offered. Then was I sick through great fear, and I awake and said... Thou hast showed thy servant these wonders from the beginning, and hast counted me worthy that thou shouldest receive my prayer. So I can count it all joy, man. All right, the hell that we catch, you know, everything that, that we must suffer in is truth. All right, even if it's uh, suffering wrongfully, you know, no matter what, hey, it's being received 
of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, man, because as it speaks about in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, eight of things, uh, it says the uh, present sufferings are not worthy to be compared with which we shall receive. It's written what we shall receive, man. But just imagine uh, again being up into the chariots and, you know, uh, seeing the angels and seeing Yahweh Shah and hearing Yahweh Shah say, uh, well, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You'll finish your course. Now it's time to rule and, you know, uh, get the earth back uh, reestablished. You see? See, we only could uh, meditate and our minds to take us uh, only so far, but just uh, uh, meditate upon, you know, uh, the things in, in, that we're going to see, man. The vibrations we're going to have, the new bodies being able to uh, not uh, go off ever again, you know? It's already written in, in what? Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, hey, about us being the servants of the Lord, He showed us, man. Lord willing, we can endure to the end to be worthy, you know? That's all we got to do, Akimis, continue to, to you know, uh, strive to be worthy, you know? So keep laboring as it speaks about what our labor of love is not in vain, man. Hey, Daniel, you seen, you know, that, that statue and the, the vision of the kingdoms uh, uh, rising up and the kingdoms being plucked out and falling, you know? So like it said in Daniel 7, when you read down in the latter verse, hey, just how them other kingdoms was plucked up, the same thing with America. This place is about to be obliterated, you know? And no one can stop the judgment that Yahweh Bashim Shah has set up for this place. Okay? So yeah, I can keep on pushing a hey, hop thumb. You know, Lord willing, this was a, a, a you know, exhortation and comfort in the spirit. But, hey man, our kingdom is indeed coming, you know. But wait, what do you uh Yahweh Bashim Shah say? Hey, wait ye upon me. So we gotta wait, man. All right, so with that, Lord willing, like, uh, once again, Lord willing, you know, it was edifying. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash, double line, see the elders and the apostles, a great millstone, and rule and teach well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth, and sincerity, and diligence. Till next time, shalom.